Well, and thank you for watching this video presentation on how to reduce stress and add quality and years to your life. What is stress? Stress is a non-specific response to the body to any demand that is not easily handled. This means that each person experiences stress differently. What are the common events that cause stress? Emotional trauma, poor posture, calorie restriction, poor diet, surgery, sleep deprivation, excessive exercise, and your mental state. Because it's, it's caused by common events, stress is an important personal problem for everyone. The effects of stress on the body are cumulative, and extensive research is finding that prolonged stress can take years off your life. In an article published by the USA Today, according to the Center for Disease Control, the leading cause of death today are now from preventable diseases. In the United States today, the two leading causes of death are heart disease and cancer, and extensive scientific research has clearly linked stress with both these conditions. What about the effects during our everyday lives? Scientific literature tells us that stress contributes to headaches, back and neck pain, joint pain, digestive disorders, weight changes, and poor muscular function. Next, we're going to review some of the current research on stress and cover the steps you need to take to reduce the effects of stress. Understanding the physical results of stress and taking steps to handle it better may save your life. First up is the number one killer in America today, heart disease. According to the Mayo Clinic, stress and emotions associated with stress are important risk factors for cardiovascular problems, and that psychological stress is the strongest risk factor predictive for future heart problems. In fact, in one study, when they compared stress levels with rehospitalization costs, they found that the high stress group had an average cost of just over $9,500, while the low stress group had an average of just over $2,100. That's more than a $7,000 difference. In another study by Harvard Medical School, when interviewing survivors of heart attacks, they found that the intensity and timing of stressful emotions like anger dramatically increased the risk. And the results of the Normal to Vages study concluded that, when they looked at the emotional status to see if negative emotions could predict heart disease, it clearly showed that those who had the highest levels of negative emotions experienced the greatest incidence of heart disease, even though they had no previous diagnosis and were taking no medication. Next up, the second leading cause of death in America today, cancer. Your body is designed to stay healthy. In fact, you have your own personal cancer fighting weapons called natural killer cells that target cancer and infectious microbes and destroys them by injecting them with lethal chemicals. But overwhelming evidence has proved that any type of stress decreases our ability to maintain optimal levels of natural killer cells. A severe stress may be associated with up to a 50% reduction of natural killer cell activity leaving our first line of defense weakened. A 1998 study of breast cancer patients found that the higher stress meant a lowered ability to destroy cancer cells. In both heart disease and cancer, the stress-induced decline in health appears to be caused by an increased production of stress hormones that leads to a decreased immune function. So sit up and enjoy good health. Besides learning to cope with emotional stress better, there are other ways you can decrease your risk of poor health. For example, just by assuming good seated posture right now, you improve your body's ability to handle everything from breathing to white cell production. Your spinal cord is a lifeline of information from your brain to your body. Poor posture causes abnormal stress on the spinal cord. This creates stress on every cell of your body. Suddenly, sitting up straight has a whole new meaning. A 1996 study by researchers at Yale concluded that posture determined whether or not the joints of the lower back function properly with movement. Another study in Canada the same year found that the head posture directly influences the range of motion in the neck. Abnormal motion in the neck and back due to poor posture will eventually cause damage and pain. In other words, poor posture leads to osteoarthritis. Chiropractic removes mechanical stress from the spine. A 2004 study found that the function of nerves is improved when mechanical stress is lifted through chiropractic adjustments. This results in better communication between brain and body, which can improve your immune system or relieve your headaches. Another study found that white blood cell count rises significantly following a chiropractic adjustment for over 30 minutes, and plasma levels of substance P, a neurotransmitter that improves white blood cell function, are also elevated. 
A clinical trial of 200 patients with headaches found that chiropractic adjustments reduced the frequency and intensity of pain. And a follow-up study of persistence one year later found that the results were still present. Spinal stress places pressure on your nervous system and joints with far-reaching consequences. This process is going on even in the absence of symptoms. A thorough chiropractic examination can easily determine if you have mechanical or neurological stress on your spine. So what does all this mean? Unregulated stress, whether chemical, emotional, or physical, creates within you a ticking time bomb of health issues. The research proves beyond a doubt that this time bomb will go off. With proper intervention, we can work to defuse this bomb. Our gift to you. If you found this information useful and would like to find out if chiropractic care might be able to help you or a family member, visit freespecialhealthreport.com. Simply sign up and get your free special health report that includes a very special introductory offer of incredible value for services at our office. And thank you for watching.